This everyone is how to take care of your skates. Let go. Nobody say Today is a very special day guys. We hit 5,000 subscribers. I feel like I just hit 4,000 and I'm like freaking out right now. How did that happen? Like, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for all your love and support and all the kind messages. I love replying to you guys and helping you guys out with tips and tricks on anything. So if you have any questions for me and anything like that, if you wanna message me at all, message me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, anything, I'll be on all of those. My Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter are all the same. It's at S-K-S-K-A-T-I-E. They will also be in the down bar if you want to go follow those. Just letting you guys know that if you want to message me anything, if you need some help on a jump, spin, footwork, anything, just message me and I will hopefully reply. I'm trying guys. There's a lot. So I will hopefully reply to you guys. Just be patient. I will. I will. I love replying to you guys. But anyway, thank you all so, so much for 5,000. And I'm just excited to see our little ice skate family grow. So if you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. And let's try to grow our family even bigger because I love all you guys. So, yes. So in honor of hitting 5,000, we are going to be doing an awesome ice skating video because that's what this channel is all about. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take care of your skates or tips and tricks on taking care of your skates. So, yeah, I'm a little bit obsessed with Christmas, and if you guys are too, let me know down below. And if you celebrate any other holiday, let me know down below if you don't celebrate Christmas. So enough with that, if you guys want some tips and tricks on how to take care of your figure skates, then keep on watching. My first tip is to always wear hard guards, guys. I can't stress this enough. I want you guys to always wear your hard guards so you don't ruin your blades. Your parents paid a lot of money for those blades, or you paid a lot of money for those blades. So always wear your hard guards, even if you're just going to the bathroom. Wear your hard guards, everyone. You need to protect your blades. By the way, these are rocker skate guards. I like these a lot because you can pick the colors and I just like the way they look. You might have them in your pro shop where you live, but I have to go to a different state to get these because my pro shop where I live does not have these. But believe me, you do not have to get rockers. I started out with the other skate guards that are just regular skate guards, if you know what I mean. And those are a much cheaper alternative. So if you're just starting out, I would definitely recommend getting those if you don't have a lot of money to spend on guards. So yeah, just get yourself some guards. They will protect your skates and save your life. So my next tip is to always wipe your blades with a dry towel and then apply your soakers. Make sure when you are wiping your blades, you get the whole blade, this part of the blade, and even this part of your skate. You want to make sure everything is dry so your skates don't get gross and rusty and that's not good. Your blades cost a lot of money so you do not want them to get rusty and gross and you want to make sure you take care of your blades. So always wipe them all the way with a dry towel. Put on your soakers. Do not put your skates in hard guards when resting them. I used to do that. So I'm just reminding you guys, get some soakers. Put your blade in the soaker when it's totally dry and your skates will be good to go. But do not put hard guards on and make sure you wipe them down and make sure they're totally dry with your towel. And this one says the ice towel. I think that's cute. So make sure you always have your dry towel in your bag and your soakers and you're good to go. Does anybody else have the problem where they smell really bad? Your skates are just... Oh, okay, um, I have some tips for you on that. Some things I do to make sure my skates don't smell too bad and like you can smell them from a mile away. These need something to help them. Well, first of all, you might want to put your skates in front of a fan when you are done skating. That is a huge tip. Put them in front of any kind of fan and let them air out. They are wet and sweaty and gross from you skating in them. So when you get home from skating and they're all wet and gross, make sure your blades are dry first of all. But then put them in front of a fan and let them air out and totally dry. That will help a lot when struggling with foot odor, so I definitely recommend that. Another tip for smelly skates is to use deodorizing spray or powder. This helps absorb all the moisture in your skates so you don't get fungus in your skates and no, no one wants that. So put some of that in there if it smells a little bad where you don't want them next to you. 
That's never good. Something I've noticed with the smell in skates, I used to have Jackson's if you didn't know that. I have a Deanna Pianos now, I just had the Ice Flies too. But before that, I had Jackson's. And those skates smelled terrible. No one could be near me. I, I just had the sneakiest feet ever. And the ideas aren't that bad. Like my feet still stink a little bit, but they are a lot better. So if you guys want something that people won't be afraid of your skates, you know, that's not good, then maybe look for idea if they're not too expensive for you. But yeah, I definitely recommend the Asplas on the pianos. My last tip to keeping your skates fresh and clean and non-stinky is to always change out your socks. These are the socks I wear. They're really thin and they're nice for skating. And I just get these at Target. That's where I get them where I live. And I am so bad at changing out my socks. I haven't changed out my socks in like four months. I know I'm disgusting. But I'm trying to get better at that. I have my new socks. I'm going to put them in my skating bag, make myself change them at least once a week. I'm disgusting, I know, but let's move on from that. My next tip is to always keep an extra pair of laces in your skating bag, maybe even two, just in case, guys. You never know if your lace is going to break on you at competition, at practice, and then what are you going to do? <laughs> you can't do anything. But I don't recommend changing it right before competition unless you have to. Changing it right before competition might alter the way your skate feels on your foot and you want no distractions during competing. So I would recommend talking to your coach about it and seeing what she or he says about putting in your laces and everything, you know, you know, all of that because they might make your skates really stiff and not feeling so right. So I would talk to your coach about it, but always keep a pair of extra laces in your bag just in case something happens. Next, I'm gonna tell you guys something about me that everybody who knows me knows. I take my skating bag everywhere I go. This is because I am terrified of my skates getting stolen. These things are my babies. Like, if these are my child's. My child. <laughs> these are my children. I love my skates so much. Like, I take care of these so good, except for the socks part. But I take care of my skates really good, and I love them so much. I, I would die. I would die if my skates got stolen. So never leave your skates in the car. I can't say that enough. Guys, please do me a favor and never leave your skates in the car. First of all, they could get stolen. That breaks my heart even saying that. And also, your skates are molded to your feet, so if they're in the hot, cold, room temperature, I don't care, they could get unmolded or demolded. The Jackson skates, Rydell, all of those are baked to your foot, so they fit your foot and they're nice and good on your foot. And the hot, cold, or anything could deform that and it could make it very uncomfortable when skating. The Dias especially, they are made out of fiberglass and they could deform very easily. So if you have a Dias or even Jackson's or Rydell's or any skates you have, please don't leave them in the car because your skates and your blades were a lot of money. This bag right here is like my purse because I literally take it everywhere if I have to. Even if we're just going into like a snack store or whatever just for like two seconds I can't leave my skates in the car I flip out like I, I can't do it I'm like Ugh. it's just weird I'm a weird person okay just deal with it I just love my skates so much my last tip for you guys is to get your blades sharpened regularly your blades should be recommendedly sharpened every 30 hours you skate on them and also talk to your coach about how you want your blades sharpened or how he or she wants your blades to be sharpened just so the person sharpening your skates doesn't ruin them or sharpen them in a way that you can't handle or that is wrong for your skating. Just try to talk to your coach about how they want it sharpened and then tell the person that's sharpening it how you want it sharpened. It's always smart to know how you want your skates sharpened. But sometimes the person sharpening them knows everything about the skate and the blade, so you don't have to do that. I would definitely recommend knowing how you want your blade sharpened. The person sharpening them might be totally different from the person that usually sharpens your blades, so always know how you want them sharpened and get them sharpened regularly. 
All right, all you amazing people, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you know a little bit more about how to take care of your skates. I hope everyone has a fabulous day. Follow me on all my social medias at SKSKATIE for Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to click that subscribe button and also click that like button. Let's try to get to 300 likes on this video. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and also thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers I'm so excited and I'm so excited that our family is growing I love you guys so much I love all my little ice skates have an amazing day guys bye bye nobody sees nobody knows we are a secret can't be exposed that's how it is that's how it goes far from the others close to each other